hold on. We're talking about um, Iris Lindy Laura. The last time, the last time Iris Lindy Laura fought was January the 13th of 2017. It is August the 20th, 2017. And no fight. His last fight just so happens was the last PBC on Spike fight. I miss PBC on Spike. I did a video on that. And I went against, of all people, Yuri Foreman, Fur, uh, <laughs> Foreman, where his knee gave out again. Or it seems as though it did. I don't know. Last fight before that was um, April 21st of 2016, the rematch, the long overdue rematch that didn't have as much luster on it as if they would have if they would have did an immediate rematch or a rematch even a year later. He fought Men's Venice Martirosian before Yuri Foreman. That was um, March, I mean, um, May the 21st, 2016. And that fight was, what, four years too late? Four years? The first fight was in 2012. I forgot that. Four years? Then before that, he fought Jean Zavec. Jean Zavec, who fought Andre Berto all those years ago, gave Andre Berto a tough fight. Jan Zavek, Delvin Rodriguez. So, let's go through it again. January of this year, Yuri Foreman. May of last year, Venice Martirosian. November of 2015, Jan Zavek. June of 2015, Delvin Rodriguez. December of 2012, Ishe Smith, and then, of course, in July of 2014, that highly controversial fight in which I felt Iris Landy lost, barely lost. He lost, he, he was defeated because he allowed himself to be defeated. He didn't throw enough punches. He didn't vary up his punch variety, you know, and also he wasn't throwing power shots. It was the argument to me of what punches mean more, the power shots or the jabs. He was out jabbing Canelo, but... He was throwing mostly jabs and straight left hands, meaning Ares Lindy Lara. And he had a beautiful bicycle. You know, and he got some nice little, what, what's that shit called, pogos? The little trick shit you get on your bike and shit. Probably got a little juice bottle put on the back so when you ride and get the little motorcycle sound. You know, when um, Canelo hit him with that uppercut, he, he tricked this bike out. He was moving around that ring. Shades of when he got uh, knocked down and had those issues um, the year before the Canelo fight with um, Alfredo Angulo, you know. So when you look at the defeats, the two defeats and the two draws on his record, they were controversial losses, but mostly close fights in which he didn't do enough to really secure the win. But if you look at what he's done now, officially, he fought Canelo in June. I mean, in July, three years ago in 2014, it's three years later, and all he has to account for is Ishe Smith, Delvin Rodriguez, Jean Zavec, Venice Martirosian, Martirosian, Yuri Foreman. Who do you blame? Do you blame his advisor, Al Heyman? Do you blame him? Or are you going to tell me that he really could not have gotten better fights than this? Now, I understand, you know, the landscape of the 154-pound division, and you know the situation with the Charlos at the time. You know, I can I can I can understand guys like Miguel Cotto wouldn't fight him. He couldn't get the rematch with Sul Canelo Alvarez. I understand that. But you know, some accountability has to be taken. And now Demetrius Andre confirmed that they're supposed to start negotiations in September, but Iris Lindy Lara already has somebody that he's going to be fighting soon. You know, so I'm looking and I'm I'm wondering like does anybody know, like, he's in camp? He's in camp for something, but against who? Now, he's the WBA champion, right, at 154 pounds. Hold on, let me go pull this up, you know. And also, he's getting up there in age. He's 34 years old. I'm not saying he's old, but he's, you know, he's getting up there. You know, he's the WBA Super World Champion at 154 pounds. And I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to pull up the rankings. We got to pull up the rankings because... When you're a champion, you have to fight somebody ranked in the uh, top 15. Let's see who is a worthy enough name for him to fight. Because it's not going to be Andre next. It's not going to be Andre next. It's not going to be Andre next. Andre is the other WBA champion. So Andre at, um, 
at um what was the last oh Bruno Garcia. You know, he was voicing his frustrations about it. It's like, yo, why we got to wait till September to, and all that? But he wants David Lemieux. He's talking about 160 now. So when you look at the 154-pound um, um, division, of course, you have Jamel Charlo, who's the WBC champion. For some reason, I always get it confused. Is he the one trainer with Ronnie Shields, or is the one up at um, 160 trainer with Ronnie Shields, who also trains Ares Landy Lar? You know, I always get that confused. I got to make sure. I'm, I'm supposed to know that type of stuff, but I always get that part confused. You know, when you look at uh, Jared Swift Heard, you know, he's supposed to be fighting Austin Trevor. Now, Heyman wouldn't put him against him just yet. When you look at the WBO situation, you know, Miguel Cotto is fighting Yoshihiro Kamagai. You know, and that, you know, them, any of them versus Laura is not happening. Maybe a Yoshihiro Kamagai, you know, maybe. You know, and if you're looking at, you know, the 154-pound rankings for the WBA, you see a guy by the name of Brian Carlos, number one, Castano. Number two, Kanad Islam. Number three, Jack Huke. Number four, Michael Soro. Number five, Brandon Cook. Number six, Arison Lubin, who's fighting Jamel Charlo, supposed to be fighting Jamel Charlo on October 7th. Number seven, John Verrera. Number eight, Terrell Goshaw. Number nine, Justin Deloche. Number 10, Maga Dumed Kurbanov. Number 11, Anthony Germain. Number 12, Wilkie Soki Wilkie Camfort. Number 13, Nathaniel Gallimore. Number 14, Yuki Nonaka. Number 15, Surahai Rabchanka. Now, who the fuck is he going to fight? Now, will he do, maybe, will he not defend his title, I guess? You know, and maybe fight at like a 160-ish, like 155, 160, I mean, 58, some shit. You know, those, there's some options up there, but it's just like for real still, though. You know? And if I'm looking at, like, you just don't know, man. But he's fighting somebody. He's fighting somebody. You know? But I'm hoping that no bullshit goes on, you know, with the Demetrius injury part on his part and on Laura's part. But truth be told, I don't see that happening. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out well what is the mat like what is what is the path for Iris Landy Laura? You know, especially if he's not gonna go to one sixty. You know, and don't dare talk about Golovkin and just truth be told, come on, we know Canelo not fighting him again. Come on. You know, so I don't know, man, but he's got to take some accountability, you know, over these last three years because he ain't been doing shit. On Teacher Controversy, this is Teacher Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.